Okay, so since the Xenia Canary build is currently in the Microsoft Store, that means that we can just download it normally. So if you head over to your Xbox One and then load up Microsoft Edge, you're going to want to go to this URL, which is tinyurl.com slash yckthh7k, and then go ahead and press go. Again, it will ask if you want to open this application and we're going to select open. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and press get and then we'll check out our installation progress. I went ahead and re-downloaded it again and I would really suggest that you do the same even if you already have one of the previous builds on there. And I'll show you why. So I like to have multiple builds on my system for different types of testing. Now you'll know that you're using the very latest one simply because the icons will be the same, but the text is gonna be different. So if you used the Canary build that came out right around three or four days ago, then it will just say Xenia Canary. But if you are using the new one, then it has Xenia Canary, and then you'll see there's the three dots here. And if we go to the details, then what we can see is it says AIO. So this is going to be the very latest version. And so if you try to run this application as is, then you'll probably see something such as this. It may load or appear to be loading. And then maybe when you navigate down, sometimes it will crash or it will lock up. And right now it's actually crashed. So what you need to do now is you need to apply the update to. Now, what I use to copy the files over is typically this application right here, which is just Advanced File Explorer. Now, if you don't have this application, then you can come back over to Edge and you can go to mcrump.me slash fe. And then you're just going to want to select right here, get in the store app, and then finally just download it. Once you have that downloaded and installed on your Xbox One, then we need to copy the update to over to a USB drive. I will leave a link in the description where you can download update two. Okay, so once loaded, you're gonna come over to this option right here, which is the removable disc. And then we're gonna go into the folder right here, which was called update two. Again, there is a link to that in the description. We're gonna go down to the bottom here to turn on the ability to check. And then we're going to come right over here and we're gonna select copy. Now go back up to where the star is and we're gonna to go to local packages. Again, you might have to unremove the check marks here and then packages. And it's actually gonna be this very first one right here, which says 13426. And then you're gonna to need to go into the local state. And if you ran it once, then you will have this file. It's okay, we're going to just delete it in just a moment or actually just override it. Now, if you didn't run the emulator, then you won't have anything in this folder right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to paste the file from our USB drive over to our Xbox One. And we're gonna select replace the file in the destination, and then close again. Okay, so the application is now ready to run. So let's just go ahead and run it. And now we're obviously not getting any crashes that we were getting before. And we'll go ahead and run GoldenEye. Okay, and here is GoldenEye again. Okay, I'm gonna do like I normally do and just kind of get ahead of the truck here. And yeah, pretty much the same performance as we had a bit earlier. Okay, so I'm not really gonna play test this one here. Now, there is one other thing that I think you would want to do, and that is that the Canary build is out, but there's also a master build. I know it's starting to get crazy confusing, but I would recommend going ahead and downloading this. So up at the top, you'll see tinyurl.com slash mr2xpad7, and then go ahead and press go. And again, we're gonna open this and we're just gonna download this for safekeeping, mainly because if 
this gets taken out of the store and at least you've downloaded it and you will need to at least run it one time, that if these applications are removed from the store, you can always update them manually using Advanced File Explorer, like I showed just a moment ago. So go ahead and start it. And now at this point, if they remove it from the store, then you still will have access to it. Now, I wouldn't use this emulator. As you can see, this one right here will now say Xenia Master, but the one that we're going to want is going to be Xenia Canary AIO. And now there is another thing that I'd recommend. So you should have the Xenia Master as well as the Xenia Canary build and then Advanced File Explorer. Now, just as a safeguard, I probably would go ahead and install Durango FTP. And you can get that by going to tinyurl.com slash 5xsuth5m. And again, we're going to go ahead and open it and we're going to get it and check the install progress. And then just go ahead and again, run it at least one time. Okay, and so once loaded, I would leave the port exactly where it's at. I'd probably get rid of allow anonymous and I'd probably just give this a username of just Xbox. And then I would leave the password at least as FTP. And then I would press start right here. Now, what you can see is, is that it has listed the IP address of this Xbox, which in my example, it's 10.0.0.169. So that is my local IP address. Once you have that ready, you can just go back to your home and we'll switch over to our PC. Okay, so I'm using FileZilla. And again, this is just an alternative way that you can upload files directly from your PC without using a USB drive. And really, we're just trying to safeguard against the things that we think Microsoft can do in order to prevent us from running this. We just want to get our system prepared for the worst case scenario. So for the host up here at the top, I have the IP address. For the username, it's going to be Xbox. And then the password was just FTP. And that is going to be on port 21. And then if you press quick connect, you're going to want to allow insecure plain FTP for this server. Okay. And so now you have full FTP access to your Xbox One, which is very awesome. And so the directory that you would probably be looking for if you wanted to update maybe that Xenia Canary build would be the local folder. And then the build that you would be looking for would be this one right here, which is 13426. And it starts with the W. Now, these other two start with the same identifier number, but that was for the master build. And then the other one was for another pre-release build. So you wouldn't have to worry about those, but you could just navigate into that folder and there is the local state that we were in just a moment ago. So I believe now your console is future-proofed against Microsoft removing these applications from the store. Now, obviously, you want to download and install and do this today, and then you wouldn't have problems with updates that come out in the future. And one other thing I did want to call out was is that if you do join their Discord, you will see this little check mark here. And when you see a green check mark, that basically means that the public or the free apps are still up. Now, if we go down to retail announcements here, here was where you can get the URLs yourself. So here is where I got Durango and then the Canary and then the master build. Now, again, there was some instructions on here on how to update it. But if you followed my guide, then you should already be updated. All right. So thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Michael, out.